budget. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this glam makeup look. It's kind of a peachy eye with a wing liner and bold brows with a dewy fresh skin. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. To start off, I'm using my Aqua Pump Moisturizer to give me a nice hydrated base. Then I'm going in with my NARS Pro Prime Radiant Primer. This is nice because it has a subtle glow, kind of shimmery effect. It also has SPF 15, always a good thing. To prime my eyes, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. As usual, just dabbing that in with my finger. For my brows, I'm using this light brown color from the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. For this whole look, the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette is the only eyeshadow that I'm using. Then I decided to use this cool brown color for my brows. I decided the other one was a little bit too warm. This is more of an ashy color, which I prefer for my brows. And I'm just making little hair strokes here. Then I'm using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set those brows and comb through with the spoolie. And I'm using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Vanilla to carve out the brow shape to make it really clean and precise. And for this, I'm just using a little angled brush. Blending as close as I can to the brow shape, especially on the under half of the brow, underside of the brow and then just dabbing that out to blend with my finger. And for the eyes, I'm using these two lightest colors from the Viseart palette. And I'm just brushing this all over my lid to set my primer. This is creating a nice base for the shadows. Then I'm using this lovely peachy color on a fluffy brush and I'm just concentrating this color on the outer corner blending in circular motions but eventually blending it all over the lid this is going to be the base color and help all the other colors transition just picking up a little more at a time and blending and blending then I'm taking this dark reddish brown color and taking just a minuscule amount on my brush and blending in that same pattern circular motions starting with the outer corner of the eye. You want to add a tiny bit at a time so you can avoid that blotchy look. Then I'm taking this warm, dark brown color on that same brush, and again, just a tiny bit of product to begin with, and then blending in small circular motions. At this point, the circles are getting smaller and smaller because I really want to focus that color just on the outer corner of the lid. And you can kind of create that wing shape by drawing a little V with the shadows. Then I'm taking this warm peachy color and sweeping that in the crease. Just kind of blending this right above where we just applied the other shadows. And then on a tiny little pencil brush, I'm taking that same warm dark brown color and just creating a little extra definition there in the outer corner. Kind of drawing that same V shape. Then I'm taking my Origins Eye Makeup Remover to carve out a perfect wing shape so that I can draw my liner on later. 
And this can help clean up any mistakes you made too. But mostly I just like that carved out crisp look. This is why we do our foundation last. Then I'm taking my Bobbi Brown gel liner and following that same line we just made with the makeup remover, creating a nice cat eye. I sped this up for you because this takes me forever. And I'm just using my little Smith 202 brush, which is my favorite for creating winged liner looks. Then I'm using my Kat Von D Trooper liner just for that outer flick so that it's really precise. Then I'm taking this white color from the same palette and just giving myself a little bit of a brow bone highlight. For foundation, I'm using my Kojendo Aqua Foundation in the shade 113. I really love this foundation for a dewy look. And blending that in using my Dampened Beauty Blender. Don't forget the neck, very important step. <laughs> and then I'm using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Vanilla to conceal under my eyes and also do a bit of highlight. This is also a good time to clean up that wing shape one more time in the outer corner in case you still have any leftover fallout. And then I'm blending that out using my Beauty Blender. You want to be really careful blending around the eye area because you just created that perfect wing. So you don't want to blend over it, but you do want to get close and create a nice base for your lower lash line. For contour, I'm using my RCMA Contour Palette, contour palette in the shade Light, adding a drop of Argan Oil to make the blending easier and just putting this on my cheekbones using a little eyeshadow brush for this. I like the precision I can get from small brushes for my cheekbones. And I'm drawing just the cheekbone contour on first before the rest of the face because I don't want it to set before I have a chance to blend it. So applying just the cheekbone and then blending it out before moving on to the rest of the face. I really like the way this particular contour creates a nice realistic shadow shape. I have to do cream contour more often. And then I'm adding just a little bit more where I think I need it, blending that in as well. And then I'm moving on to my forehead, or five head as I like to call it sometimes. <laughs> Try not to blend up into your hair. And just a little bit of contour under the chin. And then I blended this up into the jawline area as well. I did a tiny bit of a nose contour. I'm not a huge nose contour person, but I figured why not for this look, something subtle. And to set it all, I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I just blend all three of these together on the brush before sweeping it onto my face. It's important to set a cream contour. And then I'm using my Viseart neutral palette again, taking that pinky peach shade on the lower lash line area and on my Smith 220 brush. And then I'm going in again with this light brown color. Just blending and blending. And then I'm taking this brown in the middle there on a small angled liner brush and focusing that just on the outer corner. For blush, I'm using my NARS Orgasm Blush. Sweeping that over the cheekbones per usual. And then I'm taking that darker color from the Ambient Lighting Palette and using that kind of as a blush topper. 
And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and kind of doing like a baking thing here, just carving out my cheekbone contour. And I'm gonna let that sit. I also added a little to the eye area. And then I'm going in with my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Going over the cheekbones. Tiny, tiny bit on the nose. And a bit on the inner corners of the eyes. And then I'm sweeping my bake away. To the eyes, I'm using my Ardency in Modster liner to tight line my eyes. And then setting my face using my Queen of Hungary mist. I like to set before mascara. Then I'm going in with my Spice lip pencil from MAC while my setting spray sets. Time for kombucha break. Guava Goddess, if you're wondering. And then using my Marc Jacobs Mascara. Just a quick coat before applying my Huda Beauty Farrah number 12 lashes. I love these lashes. Some of my favorites. I think they really make the look. And I'm using my Innisfree Skinny Mascara for my bottom lashes. And finishing off with the Maybelline Touch of Spice Lipstick. And this is the final look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.